Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this WinHow 8 port USB charger. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I want to disclose, I did buy this with my own money, but a few years ago I was given this similar charger from WinHow, but it's a different model. So I actually wanted a second one of these, but this one's no longer available. So I found this other one. I'm mostly going to focus on this, but I'll pop back over to this so we can take a quick look at the differences. So let me get this open. Okay, I've got that open. I'll plug it into the side here and I'll plug it into power. The power cord's around five feet. Okay, so I've got it plugged in. So let's take a quick look at the manual. So there's not much in here, it's actually just warranty. So I have a number of different USB chargers. I have some I use in my office area. I have some I use in my nightstand, but this one will probably live in one of my tech areas. So the big feature of this charger over other chargers is it has the amperage display, so you can tell how many amps you're using. So I do have some kind of standalone USB amp meter things, and I really like those, and those come in handy. But sometimes when I'm trying to diagnose a problem or learn about a product, it's nice having something like this. I can plug something in and I can immediately tell how many amps it's drawing. So let's test this out. I have an iPhone here. I'll plug in to one of the USB-A ports. I'll plug in here. And we can see it's drawing 0.7 amps. So you can see here this one is flashing for this port. So I'll plug a second device in. I'll plug it down here at the bottom. This is just a flashlight with USB charging. And now you can see four is flashing. So what this will do is it will switch between one and four to show the amperages of the devices. So we can see device one was at 0.6 and the flashlight is at 0.29. And it will swap back and forth between the devices. So depending on what you have plugged in. So if you have a lot of USB devices and you have one you're not sure is charging, you could plug it into this and you can tell right away if it's drawing from the USB cable. Also, if you have a device plugged in and it may say it's fully charged, but you can see if it's still drawing power. So when this thing's fully charged, this will likely read zero or actually a lot of times it will quit flashing and it will be taken out of the cycle there. So if you want to know if your USB device is fully charged, this can help you determine that. So if I have this charger, I probably don't need other chargers, right? Well, no, this doesn't support the fastest charging rates. This doesn't support power delivery. Now this has this blue light on here. I would never want this in my bedroom. It would keep me awake at night. So I wouldn't want this on my nightstand, but for what I want it for, it works well. So let's compare this to my old one real quick. And this is what it looks like. So it looks like the display is the same. The ports on here are orange. These are blue. This one has a three amp port on it. And this one does not. This one does have an 18 watt power delivery port though. And this one just has a tight C port, which as far as I know is not power delivery. Now 18 port power delivery is not super high wattage, and I don't use that that often anyway. I mostly want to use the USB ports. Another thing to consider is this is 40 watts max charging, so that is the combined output of all the ports if you have them all maxed out. So to get accurate readings here, you wouldn't want to load this up with ports. You'd want to use just a few because you wouldn't want to hit that maximum number. So if you're kind of a techie person and you want to know the rate at which your devices are charging, I think this is a great option. The display is very easy to read, and while I mostly use this to test devices, if I'm going on a trip or something and I'm charging lots of devices before I go, a lot of times I'll use this charger so I can tell which items are done charging so I know when to unplug them. So that's the WinHow 8 port USB charger. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.